We're back. Yay. Rebirth. <laughs> Rebirth. Rebirth. Keep it short and succinct. <laughs> it happened. Next song. <laughs> <laughs> this is the remix edition. <laughs> All right, so uh, All right, Rebirth cool. with DC Comics happened, and we are now in the afterbirth phase. <laughs> Jeff Gross. Johns has <laughs> devoured his placenta, or either wow. rounded it up into little pills and eaten it, whatever those weird people do with placenta. That is strange. That's that weird. is very weird, man. My wife was into some some natural birth sort of stuff. That's weird. I mean, I can Just, understand like some of the natural birth stuff with not wanting a lot of the drugs and that kind of stuff pumped into you. I mean, if a, I was a woman, I this is getting into a whole fucking. How did story. you even get here? <laughs> no, but, wait, but I'm saying, I mean, We're I, like, I could all right, DC but, Comics guys, and then three seconds well, later, y'all are like afterbirth placentas. Well, it's it's just worth mentioning. It's weird. It's weird. It's just weird. I can understand some of the things with more like the natural route of it, but we have modern medicine, and, and some of it's just kind of, that kind of stuff is just like the new agey kind of stuff. You know, whatever health benefits you would get from doing it, it's not worth it. Whatever. So. Like, I'm going to eat myself. <laughs> Gross. Wow. All right. So, DC Comics. They did Rebirth. Um, there's a lot of titles for this thing. It's like a whole... Uh, Comic wide, right? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, a whole, it's a line, whole wide, line wide thing, basically. I don't know what what, what have you guys heard? I, I haven't read it. I haven't had a chance to read any of the titles. Yeah, but. I haven't either. Um, I think uh, the first one shot that uh, Jeff Johns did is already in its like maybe third or fourth printing. Jeez, I mean, it sold out like multiple times over. So I do know uh, maybe a little bit of spoilers here. Are uh, they two ninety nine? No. They did not hold the line at two ninety nine. Uh. <laughs> they haven't held the line at two ninety nine for years. So a little bit of spoilers here. Um, I did. I did read kind of what's going on, uh, general premise of this story, and um, I'm kind of fuzzy on the details. Bird will have to help me out. It's, it revolves around uh, the Watchmen, basically. They bring. Yeah. They brought uh, the Watchmen into like mainstream DC continuity. That's kind of cool. Basically, when Doctor Manhattan says he's going to go off and create new life, that was the new life he created. Was the huh? is, is that is that right? It is two ninety nine. It they is two ninety nine. Two ninety nine. At least on that. Well, I, thought, I thought I, I thought I had read that that, all, okay. that they're going to be. But that was part of like, the thing. Was they were going to be two ninety nine? Okay, so I just wasn't sure. Good, good, good on you. Sorry, good go back to. Uh, For once, I'm glad to be wrong. Go, go back to the. So it's about the Watchmen. So yeah, Doctor Manhattan in that uh, frame in Watchmen, where he's like, "I'm gonna f- go somewhere and create new life." Apparently, like that was the new life that was created. Yeah, whenever he flies to Mars or whatever, it's like. Yeah, yeah, whenever he goes away in the end of the. I'm gonna the, fiddle with something, and apparently that fiddling was. The new fifty two. The new fifty two. Uh, Which is weird because I thought that was already explained during Flashpoint. Yeah, I don't know how it, that happened. It, it, but apparently it was uh, that book, and then number four, uh, uh, Doctor Manhattan, sort of gives uh, uh, some more backstory on him creating that whole thing. So, I, like I said, I'm a little fuzzy on the details. Is Rorschach I, in there? I, uh, I have no idea. I know Doc, uh, Batman at some point in his book finds the comedian's button yeah. like in his cave or something. What? Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. And so there's the, there's a lot of like I said, I, I'm super fuzzy on the details. Um, so does I, this happen after the Watchmen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so it, so they're, they're, they're so they're dead then. They're not there. The right. Watchmen? Yeah. I, I don't know, dude. I mean, I don't know how they incorporate them. Like I said, I, so is this the main comic? The re, there's one called Rebirth. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. it was like the one shot. Instead of doing like a mini series Rebirth, like they did with the Flashpoint, where it's five. Or oh, it was just issues. one issue. It's just one issue. It's like fifty or sixty pages, but it's just one issue. That's cool. And that sets up the whole thing. And then they did one shots for each of like the main lines. There's like a Batman Rebirth, uh, Wonder Woman, Superman, Action, Green Detective, Lantern, Green Lantern. They do those one shots, and then they're gonna start with the main line again. So wait, what? Uta baka chaka tuku solo, chuana wanga, patano guki. So wait, so, 
series that they did one they did the it's called just called rebirth and yep. that's just one issue mm-hmm. and that sets up the whole universe yeah that's where they bring because 52 is gone now right uh this is I, like this is no, like the i think this is like the new deck of magic you can't use the other one in but, old tournament play it's but it's still aside from superman it's still the same characters what do you mean is it that, wasn't it wasn't like going from pre new 52 to new 52 where these characters are they retain some of their same elements but they're like different characters kind of like the whole mythology behind some of these characters changed mm-hmm. or like superman is now an orphan um they redid wonder woman's origin and mythology this rebirth they're still the same new 52 characters but they're just revamping the storylines and the characterization and the writing to bring them more in line with the pre new 52 stuff that people liked better yeah well, i thought people liked the people don't like 52 nah, nah. like batman by, by and large i mean there were some story like good? Ba- well, yeah batman but as for the most part Wonder Woman was good some of the characterization for the new 52 people just didn't take to it that well Hmm. especially Superman which speaking of Superman the new 52 Superman is dead okay so pre new 52 Superman is now Superman in the rebirth universe god damn it it's just so confusing okay so so they did that issue yeah that sets the stage for what they're doing now and they're, they they take they take all the books, all the other books are gone, and they're just starting new books. Are right, at number one. Uh yeah, I believe because so. they changed aside, all the teams around and stuff. From, and aside from Detective Comics and Action Comics, which are reverting back to their original numbering, so both Detective and Action Comics are starting back with their like number nine hundred and whatever. What issues. the hell? Okay, so. There's just the like. There's just the one book for like just the rebirth story, and that's the end of that. Or you, or you no, said that, you said there just sets up the storylines and like the new status quo. Okay. And then they've got some one shots for the big guns that kind of set up their new status quo. Uh-huh. And then they start with issue number one of Batman. Uh, okay. Aside, like aside so those aren't out take, yet. A, I don't think so. Okay. The number ones are. Oh, okay. Or, I mean, the one shots. This swamp thing around? I don't know. I haven't heard, actually. That's sad. Yeah. What about Constantine? I don't know. I think it's. I haven't really kept up with it that much other than just like Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, and Green Lantern. Isn't Green Lantern a girl? There is a female Green Lantern. That's cool. Mm -hmm. And she's like buddy cops with uh, Simon Baz. Who's that? He that is a, the a, Muslim uh, Green Lantern that was introduced in New Justice 52. League of America. Yeah, yeah. yeah he was in. He, he, I think he was in um, a Justice League book too. Yeah, Justice League or, of America. Well, early on, like in a, a, just a regular Justice League, where they had to like <laughs> wrestle him down or something. So, what's the difference That's between probably. Justice yeah, was, League and yeah. Justice League of America? Justice League was the main Justice League book that uh, Jeff Johns was writing. Uh, Justice League of America was a spinoff where it had like it was basically like Justice League International where it had like the B-list people so that like so the, man, Bob, the Mr. Star Fantastic Girl. guy that wears the sunglasses what's yeah, his it, name it'd be like that team uh, the guy that stretches man. oh okay <laughs> or you could be talking about the man, <laughs> what a <Rocket>. stretch <laughs> 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 and then uh, <laughs> did there. about day, a he year ago Brian <laughs> Hitch stretches. started doing JLA <laughs> which had the classic Justice League team, which was had its own storyline, kind of out of continuity, but not really. That's confusing. Hashtag comics. <laughs> 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 well, I mean, image shit, they ain't confusing. It's, it's, it's they so just got a story good. until they're done, and it's good. <laughs> There's no- that, and they wonder, well, like, oh, we do, we're not getting new readers because it's so fucking dense and confusing. Yeah. And they try Sometimes to like lighten it up and streamline. It was like, no, nah, it's still fucking trying to explain what's going on. Like, trying to explain. It's confusing as shit. Yeah, I like asking you guys questions, though, because you know stuff. It feels a little polarized. It's sometimes. interesting to me. Yeah. And, it's and, a it, hobby or your free entry. It, 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 but a lot of the times, you know, just to even... You just sort of accept 
it's like okay this is weird but i'm just gonna roll with it for a little while and maybe it'll make sense later right generally that's been the case with me and, and for the most part i'll sort of make the connections a little bit later on but i think that's just kind of almost part of being a comic reader if you if yeah. you were like a dc or marvel comic reader just because there's so much history and so much shit that if you're new to any of it you're just reading and you go okay i guess at one time this lady was hawkeye <laughs> i mean that's and what, i keep I rolling think that's what we both had to do whenever we started getting back in was just like just like bite the bullet pick up somewhere yeah. Start reading, get on Wikipedia, see how it's everything kind of, got to there, and then just like, yeah. all right, let's Wikipedia. do this. But it's, it was kind of hard for me at first, too, because I wanted to keep on going backwards and yeah. figure out where the history was. But by the time see, I got See, I feel there, like that's something that I would I would probably want to do, too. That's what I got into. Uh, whenever I really got back into it, it was uh, Batman R.I.P. Yeah, and, Grant uh, Morrison. I mean, that was like it, at least halfway into Grant Morrison's big Batman run. Oh, yeah. Definitely. So I started picking that up, and then I start getting his previous trades and kind of understand like oh that's what that means or that's who this character is or that's yeah. why this person's important it's generally a lot of working backwards no hmm. but it's uh so is it good fun. have we heard it if it's good rebirth yeah i've been seeing hearing some good things about it i haven't heard anything like ah oh, this is total shit yeah Did you see what capullo is gonna be doing he's 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 uh, teaming up with mark millar yeah, for an image book, for a, right? For an indie book, yeah. yeah. I did read something about that. That's his That's his project since he didn't do Batman no more. That's cool. His artwork is really good. Yeah. His art style is cool. I, I didn't read a lot of his Spawn stuff, though. I that's, didn't read that's a lot where of I Spawn. From. Like, whenever I heard that he was writing Batman, I was like, fuck, yes. His job, he drew it. Snyder wrote it, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. You, you said that he wrote it. Or drawing. Okay. Drawing. Pencils. My burst. It's cool stuff. So rebirth. I'm 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 anxious. I'm, I'm still gonna wait until like I get some sort of trade. I don't know that I want to like hop right in and start buying books like that. I can't one. I can't really afford it. And two, I'm just like a little wary of any of the fucking event the things anymore. Yeah. I feel like I've gotten as a comic reader, I've gotten uh, not burned, but I just bought a bunch of unnecessary books. Mm -hmm. I feel the yep. exact same way. Yeah. And I'm actually really glad with the whole falling out with our local comic shop because it saves me a lot of money. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, I didn't need half of that stuff. And at least half of the stuff that I was getting wasn't really that good. I was just getting it just to be a completionist. And because, like, I need to buy Superman because I like Superman. Yeah. And this one frame over here pertains to the, the, the larger story that's happening. But it really didn't have anything to do with it. Yeah. And all the crossover BS and it's like yeah, it's just care. you know it just at at a certain point it, it's cool, but then at a certain point it's like this is just you guys are this is just to sell comic books right here. There's no other reason. It's like you're not even you know? trying to tell a good story. You're just trying to make money off of people's yeah. connection and infatuation with the characters that they like. Boom! You just nailed the Captain America issue right there. Mm -hmm. I think that's the main thing for it right there. I think that's why they did it. Yeah. So yeah, I'm I'm super weird. This will get people talking about it. Let's put Hill Hider on here. Yep. Everybody's talking about it. Yeah. I just, and I still don't see how that passed editorial. I mean for, like for that exact I mean, reason. I mean the writers were everybody's kind of stuff, talking about somebody it. I'm surprised that nobody was like this isn't a good idea. <laughs> but then like you're saying like it's going to have the entire country talking idea. about this yep. and people that would normally never buy a Captain America comic book or comic book period are going to go hunt this shit down mm -hmm. and buy it. Yep. Yeah. It's definitely going to sell some comic it. books. So it so, is what it is. The one thing that I am really excited about rebirth is the uh, Superman, how they're doing Superman. He's like uh, a, original. I to, uh, yeah. I talked to Alan kind of. Hi. <laughs> But uh, the New 52 Superman is dead. Oh, how did he die? Spoilers. It was uh, kryptonite poisoning, I think. Oh, okay. It's easy to guess. Easy yeah. guess. <laughs> how did he die? Was, I it, think. was it kryptonite related? Oh, oh uh, His uh, only weakness. I've got like, the last I, 10 issues I, of like Batman, Superman, action, all that stuff, but I haven't read them yet, so I'm not completely caught up. But like just reading reviews and that kind of stuff, I think it had something to do with the kryptonite poisoning, his solar flare solar thing flare thing that he was, got. I yeah. think it was all connected in some way. Yeah, I remember something about that. They had to use the kryptonite poisoning to counteract like 
his cells from bursting or something and he ended up dying from it i think that's what it was yeah so he died and remember during uh convergence the whole thing where they brought all of the old dc continuities together to fight and death match and all that kind of stuff yep the the, was that what that's about pretty much yeah yeah i think i got one of those some of the issues were really fucking cool i I mean just because they were nostalgic but anyway the pre-new 52 superman that was married to lois came into the new 52 universe mm-hmm. with lois and their kid yeah so whenever the new 52 superman died the good old clark that we all know and love who was actually fucking superman and isn't a dickhead half the time yeah is now the superman and that's had, pretty cool he's fucking married to lois and he has a kid and the kid is going to be the new superboy oh that's cool until they kill him off right <laughs> they better <laughs> somebody's die. you can't if have a family kill, if they kill off the Superman that everybody loves. No, I'm talking about like his family. Oh, they Lois can't is in trouble. Oh, they can't do that. <laughs> yeah, they can. I would say that's it's the off easy limits, man. They just made you can't. America you can't have. So you not. can't have like a happy time. You can't go home to like a meal on the table if you're a superhero. It is kind of a weird time. You know, with, uh, with DC, uh, I guess even as far as their movies, you know, with the way they're portraying Superman. That's why I feel like the you almost have to have that solid Superman, that rock. It's the Dan Jurgens death of Superman, Superman. You gotta have this guy because he's the fucking always gonna make the right decision. God damn it, Captain America was that guy, but now this is all we've got, guys. Yeah, don't, don't take it away. I mean, it's like that ideal that nobody can get to. It's like I can't be a good person, but here's Superman. Here's yeah. Captain America. They have these ideals. I can kind of strive towards that, but. And now they're kind of dickheads, so you know what? Fuck it. And they do have these different versions of Superman. Obviously, they have the Injustice Superman and um, the New 52 Superman, who was kind of a prick. But Dude. They, they try to humanize them and like give them flaws, which, okay, give them flaws, make them a little bit more human, but still have it be Superman. Mm-hmm. It's like you can... I'm not a writer, so I mean, it's probably harder than it seems, but... It doesn't seem like it would be that hard. To Superman get punch wall. Superman save bank robbers. <laughs> Issue one done. We're, we're all, we're, <laughs> Superman get cat out of tree. Superman go home make pasta. Issue two done. It's just we we all grew up with that Christopher Reeve Superman and that Superman that always made the right decision. So it's very nostalgic for all of us, you know. Um, so that's the one we want, and I think that's the Superman that they're keeping around for. That's that's our Superman. You know what I mean? Yeah, and and a lot of other people's Superman as well. So So cool. Rebirth. Rebirth. After Sounds neat. I keep checking the uh, magazine boxes at work that come in. It does it rebirth, does sound so. kind of pretty neat. Yeah. I think the, the, the I might whole, I might try to get just that just the one like the You might have to buy it off eBay. The um just the rebirth just called rebirth, right? Yeah. yeah. I'm sure whenever the I doubt I'll have to buy it. Almost positive. Whenever they put the trade or hardcover out, it'll have rebirth and then all the one shots. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That seems like the logical choice to make. That's what I'm going to wait for. Logical. I don't know that. I still don't know that I'll buy it. If it comes out in hardcover, I might just check it out. Read it. See because you know it's got to come out in hardcover first, and then it'll come out in paperback. And DC is so prompt about putting their soft covers out after their hardcovers. Uh, sarcasm six months <laughs> yep yeah I mean that's straight up business move right there I mean yeah. you know it makes sense they ain't, they ain't stupid about it they're like well, you gonna put it out you wanna buy it now you gonna pay $30 for it now <laughs> if you wanna wait six more months you'll pay $20 for it twenty four ninety nine, depending if it has an S or a W on it <laughs> so, yeah, so yeah rebirth that's the thing it's the new shit that's right what else do we have on the, uh, on we the got, table uh, here? Actually, we're recording on Sunday, and E3 the Lord's Day. starts today. 